know I'm those that know me know that I'm camera shy. I do not like being in front of the video camera or anything like that. But uh, these days I don't think I have much choice. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Uh, and there are some things that I want to talk about uh, with you. Uh, first off, we are going to have service uh, tonight. I, I do imagine, unless something drastically changes, that this will be um, our last service for the foreseeable future um, in person. Uh, starting Sunday, um, we will start just going, you know, um, to live stream, you know, or, you know, put it on Facebook live like we're doing now, and that's probably the best thing to do. I do not know how long we're going to be doing that, uh, and that's one reason why I want to have one more service, you know, tonight. Uh, as of, uh, and I've been checking for for weeks, and I mean, for a long time now. And as of right now, there there are no close. There are no cases that are in this county, and, and, and there are some in some counties not far away. And so that's why I still think it's safe to have one more uh, service here to kind of talk about some things and uh, to let everybody know that they would be here, what we're going to be uh, doing you know, as we move forward. Um, but yes, this will probably be our last service for uh, however long it takes, and it, it could be weeks, it, it could be longer than that. And so uh, we've got to understand that. But uh, I'm, I'm still of the opinion that we're a church, of course, because that's what we are, and we still need to be there for one another, and we can still be a blessing to one another um, during, this, during this time. Now, we are going to take extra precautions tonight. Um, we need to stay six feet apart, you know, from one another. Of course, family that, that came together, you know, you sit together as normal, but we do need to, to stay around six feet apart, no handshakes, no hugging or anything, like, like the protocol's been the last couple of weeks. Um, and if you don't feel like you can, you know, abide by that, then I, I, really, I really ask that you, you not come because we, we need to protect everybody that's going to be here uh, this evening. Uh, we are going to designate pews uh, to help with distancing. And we encourage some that, um, you know, that maybe the most vulnerable that, that, that we have in our church probably should not come tonight. And I know it's so different for a preacher or a pastor to tell people not to come to church, but that's kind of where we are right now in this, this crazy time. And so and if you don't have peace about coming tonight, if you're concerned about your safety or a family member's safety, please don't come. You know, we're not trying to put anybody at risk for sure. Uh, if you fall in a high-risk category, then I think it'd be best if you did not come. Of course, you have to make your own decisions, and we'll support you, but if you fall into a high-risk category, I'm asking you or explaining to you that it's probably best that you do not come. Um, and and see what category? Well, I mean, it seems like a, a heart disease. You know, uh, you have some sort of lung disorder, uh, di diabetic. Um, if you have a, um, a condition that weakens your immune system, these type of things, of course. Or if you're living with someone uh, that may have something like this. You know I mean, so we, we're not after just looking after you. We're trying to look after you, you know your family uh, as well. If you're sick. Uh, cough and sneeze and that type of thing. And I understand that's about everybody this time of year with the pollen being what it is. So that, that, what, what I'm doing probably right now is I'm probably eliminating pretty much everybody in our church from being here tonight. And if, if that's the case, then of course that's the case. Uh, we're not trying to go against you know the mandates that's been put out there. Uh, the, the president, we respect the president and we're praying for him and the vice president. And we need to continue to do that for, for our, our governor here. I know the mandate that's been um, put out, the recommendation, I better, I should better say, about 10 or more people. And we're not trying to do anything against that. Um, and we're just, you know, we're making a decision right now for us. And like I said, by the time uh, everybody's, you know, evaluated what I'm saying right now, I would probably have less than 10 people here tonight, and that would be, that would be okay. We do plan on, uh, you know, making more contact, you know, with you through Facebook. Uh, Facebook Live, through phone calls, letting you know everything that may be going on. We'll try to keep everyone, uh, you know, uh, in the know about what's happening. Now, I know there may be some that will be critical, you know, towards us for, for meeting tonight. I know a lot that are not. Um, I don't believe this is time for criticism. This is time for, I, I, I don't pastor other churches, I pastor this one. I'm not responsible for them, I'm responsible for this one. God has given me that. So I have to make decisions for our church. And I felt led, led all week to just have, have one more uh, service in person, um, uh, however limited the people may be here. 
Uh, and one last thing before I, I, I leave you. Uh, of course, we're going to keep our theme for this year. We're still going to serve God this year. Um, I, I know we're, we're a church, and a church is a called out assembly, and we're commanded to assemble, but for a little while we're going to have to assemble a little differently. Uh, but we still have the same thing. Uh, but we're going to have a new motto uh, during this time. Our motto is still going to be a praying church, but we're going to have like an extra motto, an emergency motto, I guess you can say, uh, during this time. And it comes straight from uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Or it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, uh, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I want to leave you with uh, God's word today concerning that. Thank you. And God bless.